Hi friends, here in this video I will be explaining the best wire size. So let's get started. Best wire size, now what does it mean? For that I will just draw a simple diagram and explain that what is the wire size and why it is to be used. Now this is the screw thread profile and suppose if we want to measure the outer diameter of the screw indicated by D suffix O that is the nominal diameter. For that we are using the floating carriage micrometer and in that micrometer there are n will in the cylindrical shape as can be seen over here. And now, once we see here that these are pointed edges in contact with the anvil. So there is point contact. And if there is point contact, there are chances of slipping the anvil. Or we can say that the contact is not proper. So in that case, the reading which we are going to get, there would be errors in the reading. So to avoid that, what we are doing, we are inserting wires having circular cross section circular geometry we can say so here these are the wires which are placed in the groove or v groove of the screw thread and then the anvil is attached so because of the presence of these wires we are going to get an even surface and with the help of that the chances of errors in the reading of do would be reduced so that is why we have to use the wires but the diameter of the wire which we are going to select that is important we cannot use any random diameter here for a given screw thread we need to calculate we need to know how much diameter of wire should be placed in between the V groups so that is why we require the best wire size in order to calculate the diameter D if we are using two wires then it is called as the two wire method and suppose if we are using three wires in order to get more accurate reading then it would be called as the three wire system. Now in order to calculate the best wire size this here I will just show a small derivation in order to get the diameter of this wire. This diameter I am indicating it as small d and here this wire is shown in a magnified manner as we can see here having diameter D and what is the value that we have to find out. It is placed in between the V groove and from the center of the wire up to the center of the thread we can see here the distance is P by 2 which is pitch by 2 and the distance AB we can see here from A to B this distance is half of p by 2 it means it is p by 4 that is ab distance is equal to p by 4 now what i'll do here is since this angle is 90 degree we are having another angle which is 90 degree over here then here this angle which is shown over here that is half of the angle of the thread we can say this angle I am going to denote it as theta so when this angle is theta here we have 90 so this remaining angle is 90 minus theta this is 90 minus theta next the complete perpendicular over here is 90 so angle OBA would be 90 minus 90 minus theta so if it is 90 minus 90 minus theta so this 90 minus theta here I am placing a bracket so once I open the bracket it is 90 minus 90 plus theta plus 90 minus 90 gets cancelled out so this angle I will say here angle OBA 
or we can say a b o that is equal to theta and when this angle is theta o a is perpendicular to a b so angle b o a is equal to 90 minus theta because o b a is theta o a b is 90 so b o a is 90 minus theta now in this triangle i'll just draw this triangle separately so that we can understand it over here angle b o a it is 90 minus theta and now i am taking this triangle in this triangle i can see that distance a b is known to us which is pitch by 4 o b distance is the radius of the wire indicated by small r that is the radius of the wire and now i can say that in triangle o a b this angle BOA is 90 minus theta. So sine of this angle, sine 90 minus theta is opposite upon hypotenuse. Opposite side is AB. The hypotenuse is OB. Now, sine 90 minus theta, which is equal to cos theta, AB upon OB is R. I'll bring R on one side. So therefore, R is shifted on one side and instead of here, I'll write down first AB upon cos theta. Now why I'm keeping R on one side because we need to find the diameter. Once the radius is known, the diameter can be calculated easily. AB value is pitch by 4. So R is equal to P by 4 cos theta. So therefore, R is equal to P by 4, it is 1 upon cos theta and that is sec theta. So it is P by 4 sec theta. Radius is known to us. So therefore the diameter would be twice of the radius. So it is 2 into pitch by 4 sec theta. So the final value of the diameter is D is equal to P by 2 sec theta. So this diameter D indicates the best wire size which we are going to place in the V groove. Now once we know theta which is the half or the semi flank angle because the complete angle this is known as the flank angle. So half of that is theta. So theta would be known to us, pitch would be known to us. Once these values are known we can find the value of best wire size and place it in the V group to get the diameter. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you will get like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends. Thanks for watching.